Hi friends, my name is Vikri Smile. I'm an MVP for Developer Technologies. This is all about Power Platform and we're going to start with Power Apps. This is the starting point. You just go here, powerapps.microsoft.com and then you can just sign in. If you have already have an account, you can just sign in or you can try it for free. Just click these links, start free or try free. You can just go through the process and just get registered. I already have a Power App account. I'll just go to like make.powerapps.com. This is the website make.powerapps.com and then it will ask you for a login. And this is the screen you get. This is uh, make.powerapps.com. This is the home screen for Power Apps. You have this left side menu. It says learn apps, create all this information you need to start with. And then you can just start from these items as well. Share from data. So these are the data sources. It means if you're using a power app, that means you have you have to have a data source. So these are the different data sources available. These are commonly used data sources: SharePoint and Excel Online, SQL Server, or common data services. So if you want other data sources, you can just click here and get the data sources. And then you have like uh, three different apps. You start with Canvas app, or model-driven app, or a portal from Blank. I'm going uh, going through all these things on later videos. So for now, we'll just look at these uh, items. Like I'll be looking at some Canvas app today. So because this is the basics, and we'll be my main aim to just teach you around the environment plus what you get on these things, right? So this area is like uh, the applications you have built already. I have some. This is a sample app coming from Power Apps. This is something I built. And then if you click here, you will get all the apps you need, right? Let's go through this item on the left side. So it says the learn. So this is the guides you have to learn, like the learning steps. And then you have this community stuff and then the topics and then all the guided learning items here. And all the apps you have built already will be listed on this pane. And then if you want to create a new app, it's just the create. I will go through this and data. This is the data and the flows. Flows means this is uh, you can just connect your Power App through a Microsoft Power Automation. And the chatbots, this is a different area. You can just create a chatbot app and then AI Builder and these solutions. So let's start with this a basic app. I'll click on Create and then start with uh, a canvas from blank app. I'll prefer this, uh, this thing because uh, canvas apps or the blank apps, you, it will just let you create your own screen. You can just select. Uh, if you go through some uh, pre-built data sources, like if you select some data sources, it will allow only to build a mobile canvas, right? So if you go with this option, like canvas app from blank, you will have get two different options, tablet or phone. So if you click a data source like SharePoint, you click on the SharePoint data source, you can select a data source here. Maybe let's select one of these data sources or this and then hit connect. See, straight away you'll get an application. It's for a phone app, not a tab app. So this is what will happen when you go through a data source, right? This is the information you get. This is the thing you get when you go through a data source. Or you can just go through a canvas app, a blank canvas app that will allow you two different things, the tablet or a phone. So we look at this application. This is how you get. This is the Power App Studio. So this is the area you will design your app and test your app and create your app, right? So on this side, this is your file menu. You have the file, home, and all the information here. You just the file menu and the home. So this is your home and insert. That means anything you can just insert here. All these available things and view the data sources, whatever the variables you have and the actions. That means remove this action, so you can just create. Right, we start with home and this area is your design area. Or we can call this as a canvas. This is the design area. You have this canvas. This canvas is like for the mobile application, not for a tab application, a tablet application. Right, if you look at the size, you will see it. Now you have, this is the screen and then you can just Click through these items and you can just change, change this item. 
for example if you look at this one this amount if you want to change the font color you just click here and change it it will get affected on, on the fly right if you select one of these items and you will see on this area right this area is the property area all the properties you have two different tabs the properties the base properties you have text and font sizes all these items and then you have the color and other areas of the information if you click on this advanced tab and we get this advanced option for example on select on select means when you select on this or maybe you click it or click this item or maybe you just uh, touch this item on a mobile phone so what should happen this part goes here and this is the property area and this area it's like if you have worked with visual studio in mobi most like an editor you will see this solution explorer it's like the similar thing you have all these screens here screens if you click on this part it's this tab says screens screen means you have three screens the browse screen current the default one the detail screen you will see this is the detail screen and the edit screen if you want a new screen you just straight away go here click this button new screen when say black you have plenty of uh, several like templates to select with you will select a scrollable screen or a list or i'm going to select a blank screen click so i'm gonna you can just name it as well you can just say okay this is my demo screen so you can just design your application in a tree view to say all the screens you have it's better a good practice because of this uh, default created application it creates some browse like uh, predefined names browse screen one detail screen it's not a good practice from the beginning it's better you just name your screens this is the demo screen again you have the screen screen will allow you a canvas or a template uh, or a base to create your application and you click on this one a text label plus or you can just go here insert you have the same thing here if you just new screen label you click on a label i'll just click on a label here you get the label and then all the properties of the label here you get the label information it's also a better a good idea from the beginning you name these things you can say okay label one i'm going to say okay this is my header label see and then if you click on the tree view and you will see demo screen and then under it header label and the text you can just type in the text here this area or this area if you look at this area two different things see on this area it says just a text box you can say okay hello power apps so it works and if you look, look at this area if you coming from a excel background you this is a familiar item it says fx that means a function you can just write a function so that's why you have to write your text inside double quotes double quotes means it's a string right if you want to give a number you don't need double quotes straight away you can do it if you want a string again you can just double quotes hello you can say power apps see simple as that this is a screen and then you have plenty of organizing way of organizing these items here like if you have another text box, let's see, you click on this plus and a text box, text input. Now you can just come down here, you have this text input like that. Again, you can just go back here, change the properties, text formats, the font. You have this font, for example, you can just select these fonts and then the alignments and the line height, clear the, all this information now on these properties. You can just go through these items and then do some changes. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. Don't fear about this thing do some changes try it and then try an error right if it is an error you can just straight away delete this app you can start a clean slate don't worry about it and just as long as you just uh, work on these things practically and then you will understand this is the part of the screen and then you have these buttons just click and then you have the button here see if you see these items see all the alignment items it's nicely done for your design your application solidly and then it's like uh, the application will be for the UX design part or the UX or UI parts it will just you don't have to worry about the alignments and all this suddenly you have these guides automatically for center if you just click a button here 
and then if you want another like a date picker just click see automatically aligns centers and then you just information it centers all the and it centers nicely and then alignment no problem okay if you want alignment you can just select all those things and then click home and then you have this alignment tools just click align center align right align left all those things are available for you so it will guide you through it will help you to create a very nice looking interface right so quickly if you want, just want to like create a nice looking interface you just you can use these tools for example you can just go under these items layout items see all these galleries are there we'll go through one by one later on later videos like while we creating applications so my aim is to like let you or guide you through creating these items through applications otherwise so like we creating a scenario and then we'll go through it right and then if you click on displays you can have all these items and then shapes see plenty of shapes to design a nice looking application for example if you want this rectangle you click on it you just create a nice looking like here and then you just go through this line and then you can just change this into a color a nice green see you have a nice looking ui so this is and then if you want to just change change this button into this same green let's go back and then select a green so you can just template these items later on on later on videos i'm going to show you how to template these items and how to create variables for these things and then let's go through one by one on later videos right and this is this part is your designing area and then you know what about the tree view this is your layout of your application and then anything you want to need like anything you need to add here to your application you will get on this item just insert or you can just go through insert menu as well and then the data sources remember this petty cache data source we get from uh, like we got it from sharepoint and if you want more data sources you can just click on these things connectors and you have plenty of connectors premium and free connectors here you can just connect through to your data sets and start working with your application and this part all the medias if you have like a media like for example if you need a background image some icons so for like, for example you might have like uh, emojis or maybe some nice looking icons like uh, material icons or maybe office fabric icons you can just upload here and then just use it inside your application again you, if you click on this item you have some pre-built icons from power apps if you don't like these icons you can straight away use from outside you can just create your media here it says okay 200 mb so media image no larger than 64 MB plus the entire size will be the list the size this will be 200 MB and click on these tools you can just uh, these are like preview items and then these are experimental for example you can just monitor you are perform on this activity on your application and then you can run write some test or you can just for this application right so the aim is from power apps like the main aim of a power app is like no code or less code that means you don't write code you will use some functions and some layouts drag drop stuff and create a nice looking application that's the part you will do it's it's, it's really you have to write uh, code here and if you want to test your application straight away you can just click on your application like app checker that means it will check your application whether any errors or it will just uh, okay if nothing goes it will just show it you the error and you can just click this play button preview or f5 this how to test your application right you will like just click on this okay and if you click on this uh, start screen and you click and you will get this so click you can test your application right straight away and click see all these things can be tested here this application and then close it comes back to you you can just uh, file save so it's already saved you can just click save and then it will ask okay we have to save the, for the cloud or for this computer you can just save these items right this is the way you just uh, create a power app using a simple data source and this is the app studio which allows you to create a nice uh, design and co uh, uh, 
design and create a nice application and if you close this one just close this one just leave and then if you want like a start a blank application it says canvas app from blank you click and then you have to give a name here so let's give a name here let's say my demo app i can you, you can select a tablet or a phone from this path you have a leverage to select what type of format of application i'm going to create that means a tablet application or phone application the previous path we took it doesn't allow you to create a tablet application it just straight away goes to a phone application if you want a tablet application you have to go through this path a blank app and create now it will create the same application with a different canvas same thing same app studio same uh, in environment same uh, tools if you look at this you can just click skip you see now it looks like a tablet screen and then you say screen one and you can just say okay home screen like that same as the previous stuff you can just test you can just click this plus and drag drop some okay you can say okay hello just click here say hello canvas app see we have a application this is how you create a black application and then everything else is the same like I we did with the phone app